Hey there friends, on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fade in and fade out the volume for a specific track within your GarageBand project. It's actually pretty easy, let's do it right now. Okay, so this is gonna be for track volume only. If you're looking for fade in and fade outs on your master volume, that's gonna be a little bit different. Again, we're just looking at fades on a specific track. So what we need to do for this is actually do it within an automation. And automation is a great feature if you want to control multiple elements, but today we're just going to focus on that volume. So what we're going to first need to do is actually show automation. So I'm going to come up here to Mix, and I'm going to click on Show Automation. Now that brings up another little sub-menu on each of the tracks. Today we're just going to focus on this little track here. And again, you want to make sure your drop-down menu is on Volume. You can see there's multiple things that we can use automation for, but again, we want to be on volume. Okay, once we have selected that, we can come over here to our track and we can actually just click on it. Now, once you click on it, you can see that we've got a horizontal line that stretches the entire length of the track. In fact, let me minimize this just a little bit so you can see that whole track. So again, our volume line is one single element straight across. Now, what we want to do is we want to add additional points where the volume fades into. And we do this by clicking on the track where you want the volume to fade in. So let me play this from the beginning really quick. So again, we want the volume maybe to come in full right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to click on that yellow line. And as you can see, once I move the slider bar away, another dot has now popped up. Now what we can then do is take this first dot over here on the left and I can actually just drag it all the way down to the bottom. Now this yellow line represents our volume fade in and it'll start the fade at the very beginning of the track and it'll go all the way until it's full volume here at that point I selected. Now you can actually do this with multiple points along this line as you can see I've just created some more. Maybe you want it to be more of a subtle fade and then all of a sudden have a spike. Again these are really easy to draw from. You can actually take this and once you move it past your last automation point, you can see I deleted that specific dot. And then you can drag this all the way over the, on the track depending on how you want the volume to fade in. Now it works the exact same on the fade out. We just need to create another volume uh, level here and then maybe we want it to slowly fade out from this point right here. Then what I'll do is I'll just grab this little dot and I'll bring it all the way down. And now we have a fade out. Let's listen to the first part here and see how that sounds. And as you can see, there's just a nice slow fade. Again, same with the exit, it'll just begin fading out here until it's down to zero. Once you're happy with your automation, you can actually come back up to the mix menu and click off show automation there to go back to your normal view. Again, just remember that if you do have fades and things like that, you aren't gonna be able to see them unless you click on that automation again. Friends, I hope this has helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button. Let's us know we're making helpful stuff for you and subscribe because we are making a bunch more GarageBand videos and those are coming out really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again on the next one.